The following review is on Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy Voyager Cyclonus. Stay tuned. Rodimus Bill here. We just picked up Transformers Voyager Cyclonus. Our first Voyager line in the Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy toy line. First we'll take a look at the box. There is Cyclonus. Now they did cut the amount of plastic that they have in this so you just have the uh, that little much you got Transformers Generations, Takara Tomy, says Cyclonus it is Voyager class and that is a cool drawing of him in his uh, jet mode and in his robot mode ah that is the new Kingdom poster right there pretty nice and on the back you have Transformers more than meets the eye Cyclonus and it's robot to futuristic jet in 34 steps. Uh, let's see. There is a Decepticon logo, Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy, WFC K9. I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, the box, we just picked this up from GameStop. And that is it. So now let's open this guy up and see what we've got. And now that we got Cyclonus out of the package, First, we're going to take a look at the instruction booklet. <clears throat> now, as like with the core combiners, they are green and black on this. So you got <clears throat> Cyclonus, and then you got him putting his gun in his hand, and then you got the directions from robot to jet, and then you also have the landing gear on the bottom. And his weapon, <clears throat> it is molded in silver and it's got a purple handle that matches Cyclonus's colors and it's pretty detailed <clears throat> it even has that little point on the end for the blast effects and then last <clears throat> when you open up the this it has the card and I found the easiest way to get the cards out is just slide them out the side like that and I have the <clears throat> Optimus Prime card See how it, it in the sun in the light and on the back is just I'm not really sure that's the kingdom logo I guess and when you peel these cards they show you the fate of the character and there is Optimus Prime looks like he's dead very hard to uh, get the color uh, there you go with the light and then there is Prime right there and that is the cover pretty cool <clears throat> and now we'll take a look at Cyclonus now he's very very cartoon accurate um, the only thing there's one thing that's not cartoon accurate which we'll go over later and let's see let's look at the face he's got a pretty good looking face and he's got light piping in if you look on the back there is the uh, see through the, the glass where you can look at him in the light and you can see his eyes glowing uh, let's see he's got he's mostly now he's two different kinds of purple mind you could definitely see right here in the camera the difference between this purple and this purple but um, eh, it's not that bad I mean yeah you do notice it but most of the purple is the same though all along you got this dark purple back here, and you got this other purple here. You got dark purple on the knees and at the tip of the feet. And uh, you got some little orange piping right there. You got a purple Decepticon symbol. The face is very, very nice. Well, let's see. Clean backpack. I mean, very clean. Uh, you can see the top of the jet. Now, this is where he is not cartoon accurate and before we do anything else I'm gonna bring in a hard head hero statue now these are based off the cartoons and not in the figures Move my light a little <clears throat> now let's see now to compare these two you got the purple there and there which is pretty accurate You've got, that's uh, the Septicon symbol, it's pretty accurate. You go down here, you got the orange. You got the 
silver right there. You've got the orange there and almost the same detailing. So this is pretty much, now let's see if I could do this pose, pretty much cartoon accurate except there. How's that? When you get to the back, on the original cartoon, the cockpit was facing up. And in this Cyclonus, you got to rotate it. So, as far as I'm concerned, though, that even the head, the on the back of the head, you got the screw there. I mean, it is very, very... Now, these are different shades of purple. These aren't. But, I mean, if you look at the way the color changes on the head, you even got the square piece on the head right there. Um, I mean, it is as, it's about as accurate as you're going to get in an action figure. Especially when this mold is based on the movie and this is the toy. I mean, they did a pretty good job. Like I said, even down to the different colors on the wings and all and the head. I mean, it's pretty. You've got like a little different color there, but you do have that there. So it is pretty cartoon accurate. Now, let's go down the body. We've got that nice head sculpture. Like I said, the two different color purples. You got the arms, you got the orange right there. Going down the feet, you got the big purple on the knees and on the feet. Very, very clean back. No kibble at all. The wings fold in a little right there. Back of the feet and everything now. Also, you've seen some of the promo figures, the space on the knees. Well, what they did was, you can get rid of that. This is how most of the promos show him. See? And you have that big wide gap on the knees. Right there. But what you can do is this hinge, you can just move this hinge down to like that. And you can move this hinge like that and then try to get them the same height. And now there's not that much space on the knees. So what looked like a very big flaw in the on the promos, you don't have to have it that way. With a little inkling of the feet See how these are the joints going down? There, they fold it down. Uh, you can correct that. <clears throat> now for articulation, his neck, you can actually move his necks on a little swivel. So it's pretty neat, it goes back and forth. It does 360. He can, he's got pretty much up and down movement, which is nice. Uh, the arm is a full 360. When you spread it out, I like how it's got this little area so it's not blank. I mean, that's nice tension of detail. Elbow is about 90, 360 degrees rotation. And you have wrist rotation, 360 degrees. Feet do move, at, or the waist does move at the waist. Uh, let's see, other arm the same. Out, elbow, swivel. Uh, let's see, the feet. He kick not quite 90. He does have more in the back. And the knee has got a double hinge. You can move this hinge. And then you can also move them like that. And then the feet, you can do up and down like that. And they don't go side to side. And his blaster, 5 millimeter port. It's pretty cool, his blaster actually oh let's see mine's tight to put in but what it does is it actually molds to his arm look at that that's pretty cool and then let's get some blast effects on here real quick <clears throat> first we'll use this one and we'll put his hand back in like I said, mine's very tight, but what you want to do is you can put this blast effect on the tip, like that, and then 
He's got little points there. Oops. We'll get some small ones out. He's got one here. He's got one here. Uh, it goes there. And he's got one here. Here, let's put this one here. There we go, that looks good. And we'll put this one here. And that is Cyclonus with the blast effects. Um, let's see, does he have any in jet mode? He would be in the back. Nope, he doesn't have any other blast effects. One on the chest, one on the waist, and one on the foot. So, actually, that's facing the wrong way. Uh, let's get back to one of these here. This looks like he got shot. There you go. And <clears throat> what you can do is he's got four on the bottom where you could put blast effects there. We'll put, let's see, this like that. And do I have my other one? I keep this in a little uh, container. Uh, no, but we'll do... Uh, We'll do this one. There you go. You know, or you can do a big one like that. So, he's got plenty of options. And since he is part of the War for Cybertron line, he does have 5mm ports where you could take a Battle Master or something and put him on his legs. He's got a 5mm port there. Um, on the bottom of the hand. So later on, we're going to take our Airwave Decepticon from Wave 2, and we're going to weaponize them up. And that is Cyclonus in robot mode. Very, very accurate. There we go. I like these little blast effects. They're pretty cool. And... There is Cyclonus. Now we're going to do some robot to robot comparisons. Now we're going to do some robot to robot comparisons. Our first robot comparison is Bombshell. And I'm not going to say why. All you Transformer fans will know the reason behind that. This is G1 Cyclonus. Now we're just going to compare all the kibble on the back compared to the nice smooth one right here. And, uh, well, that was what I had to deal with in the 80s. <clears throat> and the first attempt to bring Cyclonus back was trans whoops, Transformers Classics Target Master Cyclonus. There you go. And then you can't have Cyclonus <clears throat> without Galvatron, that is Titan's Return Voyager size figure. Uh, let's do... Optimus Prime, the Netflix Earthrise version. Uh, about the same size, but Cyclonus does have a big head. This is a deluxe airway, which we're going to weaponize Cyclonus later on. And for a jet-to-jet -jet comparison, this is Blitzwing. Now, this was my favorite Voyager figure, and now it's going to be this is my favorite Voyager figure. And we're going to bring in the Kingdom core class vertebrae that is how those guys compare and that is it now to transform cyclonus in 32 steps we're going to remove the weapon okay first step we're going to do is we're just going to lift the arm up now this only rotates one way if you go in it's not going to go anymore so you have to rotate out snap that in and then I like to rotate this right here. Now let's do the same on the other side. It's easy just to lift the hand up, rotate it out, close the fist in, and we're going to rotate this here. Now, <clears throat> we're going to go to the back. This is on a double hinge, so we're going to hinge that out and pull this down. 
and connect this tab into that peg right there. Other side, I'm going to take this, double hinge it out, fold this down, plug that in, <clears throat> and now we're going to stop with the top. So now the bottom. These are like sound waves <clears throat> where you want to lift this up, <clears throat> pull this in, pull this out, snap the leg down. Other side, pull this up, put the foot in, pull that down. Now this is where the knees come in. What you want to do is we're going to get, we're going to fold all this up. So you just want to fold the knee up and push up as hard as you can like that. So there's the two lines right there. And we're just going to do the same for here. See how it shifts up. Whoops. There. Now then I'm going to put the legs together. There's a tab here, tab here. And we're just going to put that together and leave that. Now we're going to go back to the top. <coughs> so at this point, what you want to do is pull these back. There's a tab that goes into that hole right there that locks it in. Pull this one tab. Oh, right here you can see the two different shades of color. But pull this one here. And then what you want to do is this whole thing move down. And you want to come to the front and move this down. Now, <clears throat> what you want to do is rotate this headpiece. And this, this is what gets pretty neat. Pull this up, pull this up, and this part will, this part gets stuck all the time. Uh, let's see. Pull this down. I'm trying to get this. Ah, this never does it only on camera. What you want to do is there. I know I was getting it right. So that's what you're gonna have. And then what you're gonna do is the little tip. You're gonna extend the tip. Fold that up again angle this all the way out pull this in and this is going to tab underneath there so like that and that is how it all compresses and then you have these two tabs here we'll go into these two slots on this side here you have these two tabs we'll go into these two slots here and then what you want to do is rotate this whole area around there and then you have this big tab we'll go into that slot and then you'll have these tabs go into those slots so that plugs in this one plugs in and Cyclonus is finished and that is Cyclonus <clears throat> now you got the orange cockpit right there which is pretty neat I've heard some reviewers complain about this area right here but there's not much these don't fold down flush I mean they've got a little clean there's no way they could fold down flush anyway so they just stay like that but you got the orange cone you have the dark purple, goes to the silver, goes to the lighter purple, and then this is silver tip. And then you go down here, you got all this detailing right here. You go along the wings, you got that dark purple, you got the dark purple there. Uh, let's see, same on the other side. And the bottom is very clean. I mean, you cannot tell those are his knees, but that's it. He's a pretty clean transformer. And there are those uh, ports for the battle damage. And his gun, the instructions say you can place the gun here. Or, oh, let's get out the old Target Master Nightbeat. There you go. And you can have his partner. Or you can put, I like to put Nightbeat there. Or Nightstick. That's what it was. 
I can put that there. And now you have Cyclonus with his target master partner and his regular partner. And you've got five millimeter ports here. You got here, there, there, and on the back, now you've got four jets to do. You can put that there. I have, these are Omega Supremes. I should go get more, but let's do the smaller one. Here we go. We'll do a jet there. I like that. You can do all the, uh, there you go. So you got four of them back here so you can get creative. And what's neat, you flip it over. And here's where they did a lot of detail. You can pull out that wheel right there. And it's got a wheel right there. And here, it's got a wheel right there. So there is Cyclonus. And he is a nice Voyager figure. They really did a good job on this guy. He comes to get, he uh, snaps together pretty good. These pieces right here, I guess they're supposed to flare out. And you really can't do nothing with it because this hits the knee. But all in all, a very nice reminiscent of the G1. Kind of wish they had like a little Galvatron in there. But they don't. And now let's do some vehicle to vehicle comparisons. All right, our first comparison is going to be G1 Cyclonus. Now here is these two, very similar in jet mode, but uh, you got the windows, the, the wheels, but the old one at least had working wheels here, and it had two wheels in here, but you can see how the wheels were just folded up, and that is the original Cyclonus. Now, the next step up was this guy. And this guy keeps falling apart. Oh, whoops. Let me... This guy was the Classics. It's a little more of an updated version of them. But it's similar had where you could push the head in instead of just folding over. And the legs were still... See? Folded up like that. And this one had these weird little things that kept on falling off. But this was the Generations Classics. And you could see it was an updated version. There. The same cockpit. You know, the same wing type design. But this guy just fell apart. And that is how these guys compare. This is the Titans Return... Galvatron that's a nice size like I said I can't wait till the new one comes in um, Voyager Optimus Prime you can see how much Prime packs it in now this is the Netflix version I guess mine is a uh, factory defect but once you have the video once you see the video on that guy you'll understand why and this is Blitzwing so right here are now my two favorite Voyager figures, and they both happen to be Jets. And they are, let's see, about the same size. Let's see, let's do one over another, and they're about, move the camera up, there you go. And they're about the same size, but just the engineering on these things from what I grew up with and from what you have now is just night and day and that is my favorite studio series Voyager and we'll call this my favorite um, I guess main toy line uh, Voyager and now to transfer him this guy back <clears throat> and first we're gonna fold in the landing gear the landing gear the landing gear and the first time I had a problem, I was trying to pull these out. But if you just grab it like this and pull out, I mean, they stick in real good. Just do away with that. And the feet, you can just untab. 
and just bring the feet down like that. We'll uh, lift these up. Let's separate it. Here we go. We'll lift this up, pull the feet down, fold this in, snap it back in again. Same thing on the other side. Lift this whole area up, pull this down, fold it in, and then the feet are done. We'll just take care of the knees later. <clears throat> and then what you want to do here is, I think what you want to do now is rotate this. Uh, let's see, it all depends on when you rotate this. There you go. Fold these up and rotate that. The reason is because when you pull these down, if you don't rotate it, you're not going to be able to pull it down all the way. So there's that rotation here. And now you have to open this up again. And we'll just open one up. And then let's see, this opens up again. There. It's kind of weird how this all does, but then you put this in, fold that up. This is the actual landing gear like that. You fold that in, you fold this all up. It, it compacts real nice. And then you can flip this up like so. Then you got two tabs into those two holes. And then you got tab, tab into these two holes. So you just lock everything together. And then these tabs will go into these holes once he's pretty much set. That's done. That's done. And then the arms, you can unpeg this out of the arms. And then fold this up and double hinge this back. And this will just flush right in there. And then the other arm, you can undo it, fold this back double hinge this like that and then easiest way to remember is you want the elbows up so you can just lift this up no now these you got to rotate in and then close the fist again you want to get the elbow up that way you know like this rotate in close that and now you've got Cyclonus. Now, to fix those knees, you don't want knees like that. Move these down just a hair. Here, this will be good. Move these down so they're kind of flat like that. You might have to adjust it so they are the same size, but you eliminate those product shots with those big knees, which was kind of silly. And there is Cyclonus. Now, <clears throat> we can take our weaponizer <clears throat> and let's take him apart and as always in the siege and the other line the siege and the earthrise line you can weaponize these guys up let's see how are we going to weaponize these well always uh, let's see all right since these have the pegs on the feet we'll just put these on the bottom of the feet Will they fit in the back one? No. There, we'll just weaponize the feet. There, now we got big feet. Now let's scoot back. <clears throat> All right, this will be a, let's see, now here's where we're gonna get problems with. We'll just, no. They always have a peg in the back. So what you wanna do is you can peg stuff in the back We'll do it like that, and then this we will do as the weapons. Let's see if I can figure this out. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Hmm. And this is like that. Does this come apart? I forgot. No, this doesn't come apart. So how about we do, ah, you know what we can do like this. There. And then, let's take this out. We'll put this guy, like, right there. And this guy, 
we will put oh well we'll put a gun there and you know uh, whoops web some of these weaponizers don't work with all the with all of them but they're still pretty cool we'll put a gun there now see this piece maybe we'll do it as a shield can we do it as a shield on cyclonus Let's see, we'll put that there. And then we'll put, huh, that's a five millimeter. Let's put this guy here. We'll put his regular gun here. And I think that does the whole, that we could take Prime's gun and he can do Prime's gun. Uh, let's see, Blitzwing's gun. Will this fit right here? Oh, that's perfect. Look at this. You can use Blitzwing's arm. You got that peg right there. So he could actually hold Blitzwing's arm cannon. And there he is. All weaponized up. He's got the move feet. I, I think the best ones to use are like six gun and cog. Brunt, the feet is really not that great to do this with. But you could see how Galvatron or Cyclonus now. And then you could let's weaponize it. Uh, we'll put that there. Your imag it's, it's your imagination has no limits with these new War for Cybertron. And there is Cyclonus. All weaponized up. Very nice. Very, very powerful. You got blast effects. You've got everything. And now let's just take everything off. They're all 5 millimeter pegs. No big deal. Uh, he's got Prime's gun. Let's get him back to him. There you go. See these knees if you want to. You might have some. You might have some tweaking to do. But that looks a lot better than that big empty gap. In the... Uh, and his gun storage, you can put the gun right there. It doesn't tell you the directions. Usually the directions always tell you how to store guns and weapons. And this is Nightstick, the new version of Nightstick. So if you want to do Cyclonus with his Target Master. There's Cyclonus with the Target Master. And this is old, so I don't think this will fit. No, that was before. Like I said, this is from the Classics line. And there is Cyclonus. Um, Voyager Kingdom figure. Like I said, this. I know the new Kingdom figures. I love how that molds. Right, Look at that. That molds right in. I know the Kingdom figures is mostly going to be Beast Wars. But they are doing regular ones. So I'm glad they did Cyclonus. And I know they're coming out with the movie figures in Studio Series with Scourge, which I never got a Scourge before. So I'm glad I'll finally have Cyclonus and Scourge. Uh, let's put the original guy here. Uh, and then let's do this other one, the Silly Classics. And this other guy. Now this is Cyclonus. Through the ages. We'll throw them there. That right there is all the iterations or versions of Cyclonus there are. Notice G1, it just folds over. I mean, very basic. Look at these hands. I mean, yes, they did have, you know, little things like you can move the shoulders up. Um, the wheel is a real wheel, but I mean, the face and the legs. And then going to the classics line, he's a little more streamlined. Uh, the double bend on the wings they kept on the new one. The head, how it folds in. I think I got a review on this guy too. But this guy just falls apart. And then you have the new Cyclonus. Yes, he is a different shade, but when you want to bring in this guy my hard hero the color is not that bad 
And that is Cyclonus. All right, I hope you enjoy this review. Uh, if there's a link below to buy this, please click on it through Amazon or other affiliate. Um, let's see, I like to do my reviews. I like to do as they come packaged. So he came packaged as robot mode. That's why I do it as robot mode. Uh, we do Transformers. We do DC characters. We do Superman, or, uh, you know, Marvel characters, new toy sightings. In fact, I just got this guy at GameStop which was very, very shocking. This is the day after Christmas in 2020, and my kids wanted to go to GameStop, and I'm like, all right, they like to look at the games, and he was the only one in the store. So, I picked him up and did the review. Hope you like it. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And as always, hail Galvatron, mighty leader of the Decepticons.